Evening. Uh, I've been pretty much off Facebook for about a week. I log in every so often to see if anyone messaged me, and sometimes I write a status, and mostly I just post these guitar videos. Um, but I, uh, I could tell that uh, the amount of uh, giving a fuck uh, people had for me was decreasing because I wasn't talking to anyone else. I wasn't posting in their posts. And this led to uh, me uh, saying I would buy these, like, uh, these weird nails if someone uh, dressed a certain way for Halloween. Now I feel all weird. Like, someone's gonna take offense. That's kind of why I stopped. Because when I was drunk, I would, uh, you know, say whatever, and, um, not worried that I was offending people. Or, like, not even offending, just creeping them out. Um, and I think a lot of people use Facebook as business. And, um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a, unless I, uh, give in to marketing without realizing it, I don't think marketing really works for me, but yeah, I said, like, if you wear these p pants that make it look like part of your skin is missing, I'd go to your shop and buy fake nails so I could wear them to make a YouTube video. And now having said that, I, I just feel like I creeped myself out. I don't know. But who knows, maybe that's the thing. Like maybe the person who I said that to appreciates that comment, or at least appreciates it because it would result in them getting money. And I don't have much money. Uh, yeah, this is a guitar video, but I kind of need to talk, because a lot happened today. Um, it doesn't matter. Talking to no one like, okay, so I've been giving a lot of uh, money to um, as far as I know, the po po politically correct term is still homeless, uh, but I kind of refer to them as beggars because not all of them have homes, but I don't know if they would want to be called a beggar. Sometimes I call them a panhandler, uh, but I'm fairly confident a lot of them have more money than me, but I've been like, I actually broke a $20 bill, um, like I asked someone to make change for me so I could keep giving home, like what, what people call homeless people and street musicians money. And, uh, I think that's a little in insane. Uh, I have, I have justifications behind it. But anyway, so, one of the, uh, people I gave money to said hi again. She said, she said to me, oh, hi again. And, uh, apparently I had just given her money the day before. Um, and I don't know if I keep, like, like, vi the, the word I want to use is, like, viciously handing out money. It's almost like I'm, it's almost like a, I don't know. I had a, I had a friend once, and he accused this other guy of, uh, buying friendship with people. And I don't think I'm buying friendship, but it's like, I'm buying 
I don't know. It, it doesn't. Not giving homeless people money seems wrong, and giving every single homeless person you pass money seems wrong. And then the middle road of giving homeless people who, who you think really deserve it money. Um, I don't know who really deserves it if there's such a thing as that. So yeah, I took a Klano like an hour ago and it should still be affecting me but I, I just I got on Facebook I, I, I said to myself I just need to tune out and relax uh, and Facebook kind of does that to me but I forget that there are I'm talking to real people <laughs> uh, so just don't worry about it and play guitar <laughs> I did say something weird. Um, the person will forget it. Will probably forget it. There's so many different people and they think different ways. And I don't know. Anyways, I was pretty sure this person on my friends list she basically uses uh, Facebook for advertising, mostly. And um, she, she was also commenting on my posts uh, when I was using Facebook more. And uh, I guess I couldn't tell if, like, what if she was just commenting on my posts so I go spend money on what she's advertising. And uh, yeah, so just talking about this, even though no one is listening as far as I know, um, it's also the end of the day and I had a stressful day and I have so many stories I could tell you um, and, uh, I just, I already had a uh, appointment with a medical professional and I vented and I had a long walk that took a lot of energy. Um, it's weird because I thought I got to cut Facebook out of my life because it's taking energy away from things that are positive. And uh, I, I do have real life friends. I keep exaggerating and saying I don't, but the artificial friendship, I, I could see it dissolving. <laughs> and uh, I, I was worried about that. Um, I was worried about losing artificial friendship. Um, but yeah, so... I'm clearly tired and I, when I pick when I decided to start the video, I'm like, yep, that's enough energy for guitar. But listen to me, I'm all depressed. And... So I posted, one of the last things I posted was, um, uh, the, 
the day went by so fast that I don't know if I have time before bed to do my daily routine. And uh, the this guy posted, um, rest is important too. But I think I heard somewhere, and it may have just been like macho BS, uh, that for every day you don't practice, you lose two days of practice. I don't... I'm so tired, I don't know what I'm doing right now is actually practice. You know what, I'm, I'm going to make this a two-part video. Uh, some of my other videos, uh, the camera um, turned itself off. But I'm going to make this two parts because I can't really do this guitar thing right now. And uh, I'm going to have a Coca-Cola see if that gives me what I need to practice properly. Uh, either that or I'll have a clonazepam and fall asleep. I, I, I don't think I realized how tired I was. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Stay tuned for part two. Okay, thank you. Um, not much time has passed since I ended the recording. Uh, I drank a Coke and it gave me some energy and I heard something fall over. Or maybe it was the neighbors banging on the wall without noise, but I don't know if that's... I, don't know. I would think they would actually say something to me. I hope. So... Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna... We already had our talk. Let's just guitar. figured out a chord there. So how do we do G? I wasn't aware that if you just keep strumming this reverb, there's a bit of a dick. So I'll turn that down. And that. Feedback. I 
can I make that higher? If I could make that go higher. <laughs> practiced like that before. But like I said, we're just doing straight guitar. So uh, I seem to know, I'm almost certain I fucked up the G chord. What are we doing here? Chew that nail. Is it just me or have my nails got stronger? stronger since I started playing guitar but it could be the exercise anyways um I, yeah I told myself I'd do this weak position I feel weak and this is what I'm gonna do Obviously I have that wrong, but when I... That sounds kind of okay. I mean, I guess if you're, you're a perfectionist, which you should be. Uh, like that... It's not drunk, by the way. So the, the, the one where I'm laying my fingers down on the strings to make a sound sounds better than just the whole thing being open. So, uh... I mean, I guess... Because 
guess uh, just uh, at least making the attempt does improve the sound, even if you don't do it right, but... So I wasn't even doing that right. Uh, I was about to tell you I, I was about to strum like that and then say to you, now watch me cluck each note and it's because this is the easiest one. Um, so I was about to say to you, watch me pluck each note and it's perfect and I forgot the point I was trying to make. <laughs> That's E minor, um, and uh, yeah, that, uh, I'm more or less doing that perfectly. Uh, I mean, there's levels of perfection, I guess, whatever. Uh, but my point is, I'm doing that, and uh, it's it's like I'm doing it solid, and it doesn't really. <coughs> Like, there's not a big, I know I need to develop my ear, um, there's not a big difference between fucking up G and doing a good E minor. Uh, I don't know, maybe E minor is like a stupid note. Anyways, uh, I was gonna say, I know about um, I seem to have memorized, um, let's see, I think. I seem to have memorized, uh, seven chords at least, and I'm a little bit fast enough to maybe be working on something. Like, if, if I get seven or eight chords, I'm a little bit fast enough to, like, be developing a musical progression. And I think it's at this time that most people uh, turn to the books or they turn to the YouTube videos and they say, oh, I know, like, I want to be able to play a song, but they want it to be someone else's song. Because, like, I'll show you, this is just me frilling around. Assured. Um, I, I feel like I sound drunk and maybe I'm learning how to fake it. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to convince you why I'm not drunk. Uh, <laughs> I, it's a joke. Uh, so, yeah. so, yeah, I know these chords and I think um, I could create a song out of the chords, but I'm, you just heard me fooling around. Maybe one or two of those uh, transition from whatever chord to whatever chord, it sounded like, oh, that's a good transition, now what should the next one be? I think that's how uh, you create a song, like you just go, oh, E minor goes into D, I, this is, I don't even remember which one is D. Um, so, so let's try that, and then what goes after that, and then what goes after that. That, that, that's what I imagine how you would build a song, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there's more to songs than just the chords, I'm pretty sure. 
but I think at this uh, state in training, uh, people turn to the books and the YouTubes and like the classic example is to learn stairway to have it in there or whatever but uh, I don't want to learn someone else's song and the people who have been giving me help um, uh, they, they've kind of stopped talking about it I don't know if they heard me talk about how I wanted to do it myself and so they're taking what I said to heart, um, but, uh, yeah, I kind of want to do it myself, um, I guess I'm trying to say I want to be better than people who learn other people's songs, and that's like a snobby thing to say, and I shouldn't say that. I feel uneasily. <laughs> practice proper fingering by going one at a time. Um, and it, it's just a long series of repetitions. So, yeah, I mean, that took like a week or two weeks. I, I don't really have a good sense of time at how long I've been working at it. And I know the basics of those chords. I don't know the names of all the chords by heart, and I don't know uh, how to properly place and press my fingers. And I know for sure when I play those chords, I'm muting different chords. And if I were to go up to someone who's in a band and say to them, can I be in your band? And I showed them what I could do, they'd be like, fuck you, buddy, you suck. <laughs> uh, so, but what I can do is, so I can either like try to perfect or I could try to learn transitions and that's something I'm going to have to deal with tomorrow. Uh, officially practiced. This video is probably going to be short, um, even including the whiny half asleep talk that is part one. This is going to be a shorter video. But I did it. I went on my three hour walk and I practiced guitar. And uh, another thing I was worried about is my calluses which are developing. If I didn't practice, I wouldn't have the calluses. Uh, but yeah, now I can relax. I have done what I was, what I told myself to do. Yeah. You can tell I'm a little bit crazy, I guess. Uh, is being crazy something like being an artist where you're not allowed to tell you're not allowed to claim it for yourself. I don't know. 